first tab is check for updates. Head down to settings, then scroll down and search for update. Click that and check for updates. And you can also search for updates through BlackBerry support website. Link in the description below. Step 2. Download files. So there will be a link in the description below to download these files. Download these files in a zip. So this will be easier to extract and move the files to your BlackBerry. Step 3. Installing the apps. Make sure you have enabled allow apps from other sources to be installed on your BlackBerry. Otherwise, you can't install Google Play services or anything like this. To do that, head on to settings, then go to applications, app manager, go to installing apps, then select allow apps from other sources to be installed. After that's done, locate where is your files in your file manager and start installing the apps one by one. After you're done installing all the apps, put them in a folder and name them Google. Like this. So after you're done installing all the apps and grouping them into a folder, launch BlackBerry Google ID. Over here, this will be different for you guys because I've signed in to this already. You have to click update registration to sign in and after you're done signing in, this is what you will get. And that's all, it says registration complete. Now, the ne next step is you're using mobile data on your BlackBerry to use Google applications. Head on to the folder and launch mobile network. Now over here, there'll be a toggle. You have to click on to allow Android apps applications to use mobile data services. Otherwise, you can't use mobile data on your BlackBerry to for Google Play services like Google Play, Netflix, or any app you're going to download from Google Play. Now, launch Play Store. It'll take a few minutes to load and it'll ask you to accept permissions. Click accept and you're done. You're in Google Play right now. Now you can download any app. So now I'm going to show an example of downloading Netflix on Blackberry.
ARM version, not the ARM 64, since BlackBerry is running 32 bit and not 64 bit software. And make sure every application is Android 4.1 or above because BlackBerry doesn't support Android 4.4, KitKat, Lollipop, Marshmallow, Nougat, Oreo because BlackBerry 10 is running Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. Now save your APK wherever you, wherever you want because it's important. Save it on your Google folder if you want, just like me. After you're done downloading your APK file, click Browse on PS Patcher and locate where you've saved your APK file. After that's done, head on to Path and show the application the path where you need to save your file first. So I'm showing Google folder again, that's device path. Then after that, click application path and show the directory, the Java application path. Make sure you have Java installed on your computer. After that's done, go to session and click analyze apk. It will take its time and analyze the apk so that google play services is removed from the apk. So that's all for now. Now we have Google Play services on your BlackBerry. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel to show support for me so I will create more BlackBerry videos like this. This is TechBuzz signing off.